morning, everybody. I am super excited for this garage sale. It is just massive and it looks like they have a ton of stuff. So let's see what all we can find. This is really pretty. It really looks like a quality piece. I think I'm gonna pick this up and put it in my antique booth. Do you have any jewelry? Uh, no, we didn't pull any jewelry out. Okay. <laughs> wow, check out all these wood pieces. Oh, okay. I especially love this lion. I love to collect lion things. And look at this big parrot. It's massive. I'm thinking, now I do end up buying these pieces. I bought the parrot, I bought the koala, and I bought the lion. So let me know what you guys would price these at. I'm struggling with whether I should put them in my antique booth or try to sell them on eBay as an auction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.
I did end up buying this teapot here. It was brand new in the box. Uh, you won't be seeing it in my haul video though because I've already listed it and uh, taken it to my storage unit. Trying to get a hold of somebody that would recognize me. I got you. Cool. There's your little dog, he's so mm. cute. What is it, Skipper? Is that his name or? Uh, no, his name's Boats. Boats? But he's a hey. Skipper. Oh, Skipper Key, that's right. Mm. So cute. I probably took that guy by shock whenever I started talking to him. He might not recognize me, but I definitely recognize him. I've been seeing him for years and years, uh, garage selling in the Bay Area. And, um, always uh, love to see his little dog. He's called a skipper key. Um, so they're dogs that uh, they live on boats. I guess they're good for living on boats. They really enjoy boats and being on the water. So um, yeah, and his name was Boats. I thought that was really cute. As a matter of fact, Tom and his wife own a coffee shop down in Seabrook and I've been there with my family and we've actually had coffee. So it was really nice to see him there and his little dog Boats.
Yeah, don't worry about doing those. Here's some button down, button up ones. Yeah, those are. Empty hands makes better shopping. And then <clears throat> I got this one, but I think that yeah, this one fell off the off the other. There's another one in there. Oh, they're meant to go together. Okay. It's okay. I feel bad that I dropped it. You should have been over here getting this out of my hands. <laughs> Diane, you're close. Oh, um, the shirts are three. And I tell you that um, Loctite glue. I I build doll houses, uh -huh. and it's called Loctite. It's Loctite, and I find it at Home Depot. You can get Walmart. Um, it is the best stuff because I build doll houses, and that stuff lasts. Because I my granddaughters are really rough. I'll glue that on and make it. it I'll have great. to write it down so I don't forget. Yeah, it's called Loctite. Um, and yeah. I just don't, I buy the, it's like a white tube yeah. with blue printing on it. Okay, and so. Like, you need that Loctite glue? I'm going to show her. Oh, I don't have any. That's fine. I know what you're talking about. You can get it like a um, Hobby Lobby though? Or? Oh, yeah. Hobby, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. Uh, I buy it at Lowe's usually. Okay. I've seen oh. it at Walmart too. All right, oh. I better go before I break anything else. <laughs> and I, uh, so she might need you to staple her. You got pricing stuff out there? Uh, she might need you to staple yeah. them on her tags. All right, what you got? Let me see. Let me get you a box. Let me see. 
trying to think where I'm at. Isn't there a Randall's grocery store right down here? Yes. Okay. I thought I had another 20. 30. Okay. I'm at 25, 30, 33. Hang on. Let me just double check. Good morning. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. We know if we can bring out a couple of chairs and use those as hold, but that's fine. Oh, okay. What am I short? Um, uh, uh, Where'd you have 33? So you're short nine. Nine, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, come um, on, go get some money. You really uh, want this stuff. Nine dollars. You really want, it's a bargain. Yeah, that's it. We'll give you uh, 20 minutes. It's 8.30. It's just right around the corner. 
also there's also a bank. You tell her because you. Oh. Um, what bank is it? Randall's. Bank of America. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, bank oh of I don't know. The one at Randall's is Bank of America. I'll just get cash back at Randall's. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Right up here. Forty-two. I'm Tanya. Okay, Tanya. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. I wanted to bring you guys a quick haul video. Now there are a couple of things that you're not going to be able to see in this video because I've already listed them and probably taken them to my storage unit. Um, and I actually can't find the purple stained glass crosses. I know they're probably in my garage somewhere. I need to find those, but I did buy both of those. Um, and I'll probably put those in my antique booth as well. So here are the wood pieces. This is the koala. There's my hand so you can actually see how big it is. He is really cool. I think he was four bucks. And it's solid too, like you can tell it's definitely hand carved. Now here is the parrot. He is considerably bigger. So, but I just noticed this. So I think without a doubt, I'm probably definitely going to put this in my antique booth now because I didn't realize it had a piece broken off there. Now I have heard my friend um, Angie talk about a wood like a paint pen, but it's like wood colored. So I probably need to go to Hobby Lobby and get me one of those. Um, Angie is Treasure Vintage here on YouTube if you guys wanna go check her out. She sells a lot of jewelry and she does jewelry hauls and stuff. So this is the next one. And I've already cleaned all these pieces up. They were super dusty and dirty. So I just washed them with um, a washcloth and some water and then dried them off. And here's the lion. He's pretty big too, he's so cool. And he's roaring, rawr. So really solid, heavy pieces. This one, I'm not sure what kind of wood these are made of, but it's really interesting. This one's definitely a darker wood, and this one's kind of a lighter wood, kind of a mixed wood for the koala. And then that's what the base of it looks like. So definitely a solid piece of wood that somebody carved. Okay. Uh, next, I picked up the cross. I looked up that name there on my back, but I didn't find anything on it. So I'll probably just put that in my booth. Uh, probably for about 10 bucks. And then I picked up these little Mickey Mouse cookie cutters and little uh, picks. So there's two cookie cutters and four picks. Now on to the ducks. You guys knew it was bound to happen eventually. I broke something. Oh my gosh, my hands got a little too full, but that's what he looks like in his glory <laughs> because I got both of them. Um, but he's just gorgeous, really ornate. I think these pieces, these type of pieces will sell really well in my booth. So I'm probably just going to um, get my hot glue gun and put this guy back on there and then disclose that there has been, um, you know, some damage and I tried to fix it on the tag. Um, next up is the fish. Looks like a speckled trout. Really cool piece. Three bucks. I'll probably put this for like, I don't know, maybe $16, $19 in the booth. And then this painting, I think this is like an original oil painting. Little hummingbird. I love the frame, the dark wood with the gold uh, inner lining. So, and then of course I picked up some mirrors. Three of those, I'll probably keep those here at my house or we might sell them, we'll have to see. But yeah, that is my haul. So let me know uh, what your favorite piece is out of everything that I picked up. I would love to hear it. And also, let me know if you guys are picking up anything uh, fun. And I want to give a shout out to Eric Henderson. I actually met him when I came back to the garage sale to pay for everything after I got some more cash. And um, he introduced himself. So he's a viewer. So it was really nice to meet you, Eric. I appreciate you watching. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, happy early Halloween. So today I wanted to share with you guys my little Halloween tree that I've made here. I picked this up, this tree up at the home store for $20. It came pre-lit, it's purple. I think it stands about four foot tall. Okay, so brought it home. 
and I decorated it with some inexpensive plastic little green balls that I got at the home store also. And then at the Dollar Tree, I picked up some of these spiders and some of these paper little uh, pumpkins. And I also put just some little uh, curl ribbon on there, the green and some purple also. So really inexpensive little decorations. Now let me tell you what I did with these. So these didn't come with holes in them. So I actually just got my hole punch that I used for my earrings. And I made a little bitty hole there on the back and I was able to put the ornament hook in there. And like I said, these are just paper, but they look really cute on the tree. All right, now let's go see the craft we're gonna do. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a $5 Halloween craft challenge video. So I picked up these glitter, uh, this glitter base filler. It comes in orange and black. And I got these little rings. They come in purple and orange. Did I say Dollar Tree Challenge? This is a Dollar Tree Challenge. So all this came from the Dollar Tree and I spent $5 on everything that you see, five items, so a dollar each. And then I got this nice little silver platter here, real lightweight. And I got a little four piece set of these glittery pumpkins with the black polka dots and this fun glass little candle or votive holder. Okay, so my plan is, this is my plan. So my plan is for the votive holder to sit there in the middle like that. And then I'm going to decorate with the balls. And then I'm going to accent with the spiders. So let me put it all together and let's see how it looks. Okay, so here it is all put together. I put the vase filler here on the bottom. We've got our little pumpkins with the spiders. And I got a little tea light there in the center, all safely protected. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So I'm excited to put this on uh, my island in my kitchen. And uh, <clears throat> this will be fun decoration for October and late September because uh, like a lot of you probably, I like to get started on my Halloween decorations early. It's a super fun time of year and um, I love to decorate for it. So, and I was also thinking that these little spiders would also make great little ornaments for the Halloween tree as well, because you know, they're just little bitty rings and they just could stick on the branches real easily. So that might be another idea for you guys for ornaments if you wanna make a Halloween tree also. So I challenge you guys to the $5 Halloween Dollar Tree Challenge. Let's see what kind of craft you guys can come up with and I'll create a playlist and we'll put them all together. Uh, and be sure and tag me if you do do it so I'll know to add your name to the playlist. So thanks so much for watching and I hope everyone has a spooky, spectacular Halloween. Bye everybody.